On April 19, 2021, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang personally visited the archaeological site of San Xin Dui in southwest China, Sichuan province, where he told the site staff to excavate, preserve, and investigate thoroughly. Chinese archaeologists have been working at the site for 35 years, since 1986, unearthing thousands of ancient artifacts. So, what has been discovered in the Sanxing Dui that has intrigued even the Chinese Communist Party's top officials? The Sanxing Dui is a Bronze Age archaeological site. The site is named after three mounds of yellow earth rolling and connected within the area. China has a long history of written records, but the civilization represented by Shangxing Dui is not mentioned in any Chinese historical works. The artifacts excavated at Songxing Dui are extraordinary and differ significantly from that of figures found in other parts of China. For example, there is a mask that shows a human face with protruding eyes. The ears are enormous and spread out to the sides, like wings. The eyes protrude out like cylinders. Some people say these features represent clairvoyant eyes and radar-like ears. However, no one knows what they are in reality. In addition, the face displays a mysterious and eerie smile. There is also a bronze statue, dubbed the Standing Power Man, which is more than 3,000 years old. The total height of the bronze statue is 2.62 meters, and the bronze figure is 1.7 meters tall. Dressed in a tuxedo-style robe, he stands barefoot on a lofty pedestal. The head is small, the body is elongated, and the hands are larger than the face. Its features are also exaggerated and differ greatly from the typical proportions of a human figure. It is by far the tallest, oldest, and probably the most mysterious bronze statue in the world. Lei Yu, director of the Sangxing Dui Archaeological Station, said, Human beings being the main subject of bronzes is not a tradition of the central Chinese bronze culture, but a strong speciality of Sangxing Dui. Large eyes, a big nose, a wide mouth, and long ears are the basic features of these bronze figures. It is not a normal human appearance. So, whose faces were these mysterious figures made to imitate? If the Songxing Dui people could produce such lifelike bronze figures, there must have been a distant model for them to work with. This raises the possibility that a prehistoric race existed in the area. The above artifacts share some common features. First, their appearance is different from the characteristics of the local Shur culture, which is also native to the Sichuan area. Second, they require advanced metallurgical techniques to construct. For example, bronze contains zinc, and gold has a melting point of 1064 degrees Celsius, which was impossible to produce with the productivity level found in the Shur region at the time. Third, how they came to be is puzzling, as there are no large-scale mines of copper and gold nearby, not to mention processing sites and equipment. The Songxing Dui archaeological site was first discovered in 1929, when a local Taoist practitioner and his son were digging a ditch next to their house for water. They accidentally unearthed more than 300 pieces of jade and stone artifacts. The British missionary, Deng Dui, immediately called the local military garrison to protect the site. In 1934, he and Guo Weihan, then director of the West China University Museum, formed an archaeological team which unearthed more than 600 artifacts. However, the academic community at the time did not fully appreciate the historical value of the site. In July 1986, two rural workers working at a nearby brick factory discovered some jade artifacts which became the famous pit number one, with 567 pieces of various artifacts unearthed. In August, another two rural workers discovered the second pit. This time, they found bronze masks among a total of 6,095 artifacts. The most famous ones are prominent bronze standing figures, bronze trees, a bronze face with protruding eyes, bronze divine statues, gold masks, gold scepters, as well as a large quantity of jade and ivory. Many of them are artifacts of the type that humans have never seen before. Some artifacts are surprising, such as marine shells, because the site is far from oceans. For a while, the artifacts unearthed at Songsheng Dui became a sensation in China and internationally. In late March 2021, more artifacts were unearthed at the site, including bronze human figures, gold mask fragments, and ivory. The official media in China also reported this event, making Songsheng Dui the focus of discussion once again. Is the culture of Sanxing Dui a Chinese culture or a foreign culture? Is it a prehistoric civilization? 
there are many speculations and no consensus yet. No one has been able to explain the origin of the Song Xingdui culture. However, there have been various theories, such as ancient Shu civilization, ancient Chinese civilization, and the Shanghai Jing theory. Among them, the Shanghai Jing theory is particularly intriguing. What is Shanghai Jing, also known as the classic of mountains and seas? It is an ancient book from the pre-imperial period around 2300 years ago, which contains many exotic and mysterious stories such as legendary monsters and strange beasts. They are very different from the things described in other Chinese historical literature of the past 2000 to 3000 years. Shanghai Jing has thus been long considered a work of mythology. The Shanghai Jing records a sacred tree inhabited by nine golden birds representing the sun. This corresponds to the bronze tree unearthed at the San Shengdui site. The bronze tree is 3.96 meters high, divided into three layers, with three branches on each layer, making a total of nine branches. Each branch has a bird perched upon it. At the same time, several bronze figures with human heads and snake-like bodies unearthed at Song Shengdui also correspond to the descriptions in the Shanghai Jing. This has led some to muse that the stories in the Shanghai Jing might not be mere legends or myths, but real historical accounts. As more than a few Chinese commented, myths and legends are probably actual historical accounts, only that real history slowly turns them into mythology over time. A historical story recorded in Chinese history in the Shanghai Jing may have some indirect connections with the Song Xingdui site. This would be the legendary account of Emperor Wu the Great controlling the waters of the Great Flood. The saga of Wu the Great is generally regarded as myth due to the sheer size of the flood described and lack of archaeological evidence for such a huge flood control effort. The flood of Noah's Ark recorded in the Bible occurred about 4400 to 4300 years ago. The flood that Wu the Great combated, as recorded in the Shanghai Jing, is also given as having occurred about 4400 to 4300 years ago. According to records, this global flood is the closest worldwide catastrophe to the present day and destroyed much of the existing civilization. In 2016, the journal Science published a research paper confirming that a catastrophic flood event did occur in China about 4,000 years ago. The lead author of this article was Dr. Wu Qinglong, a geologist at Nanjing Normal University. As early as 2007, Wu Qinglong discovered what looked like post-flood deposits along the Yellow River. His research team conducted carbon analysis of the flood sediments. The results showed that the flood occurred about 4,000 years ago, which coincided with the historical record of Yu the Great and several other legendary Chinese rulers. Meanwhile, Chinese archaeologists have continuously uncovered new evidence to confirm the existence of a large flood. Since 1999, the Institute of Cultural Relics of the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences has been conducting archaeological excavations at the La Jai site located on the north bank of the Yellow River in southeastern Qinghai province. The site dates to between 4300 and 3900 years ago. The excavated human remains were found to have been buried in motion, earning the La Jai site the nickname Pompeii of the East. The researchers deduced that the site was rapidly buried by a flood 4000 years ago with thick mud, which coincides with Dr. Wu Qinglong's research. Moreover, the artifacts from the La Jai site suggest that this civilization reached a high level of development beyond that of the villages one would expect to find during this time period. David Montgomery, a professor of Earth and Space Sciences at the University of Washington, believes that Wu Qinglong's research team has provided convincing evidence for the occurrence of the Great Flood. In the story of Noah's Ark, as recorded in the Bible, for 40 days the flood kept coming on the earth and the waters rose and lifted the ark high above the earth. So the waters continued to surge and rise greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the waters. On the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on one of the mountains of Ararat. Mount Ararat, mentioned in the Bible, is located near the northeastern border of Turkey's Erdur province and is the highest peak in Turkey. In 1960, the magazine, Life, published a photograph taken by an aircraft at an altitude of 10,000 feet, which clearly showed that there was indeed a ship-shaped ruin near Mount Ararat. The publication of this photo attracted many scientists to the area. 
In 1977, American explorer Ronald Eldon Wyatt led an expedition to Mount Ararat and found that the ship-shaped remains measured 515 feet from boat astern, which is consistent with Noah's Ark's length described in the Bible. Because of its age, the researchers found that the Ark had been petrified and that the petrified wood showed signs of artificial treatment. Three planks of wood glued together with organic glue and the outermost planks were coated with asphalt. In 2008, a team of Hong Kong and Turkish explorers successfully entered the remains of the giant wooden structure of Noah's Ark and found pottery, ropes, and other artifacts on board. The team conducted carbon tests on the wood planks and found that the wood dated back more than 4,000 years, coinciding with what was described in the Bible. Surprisingly, large disc-shaped rivets were found inlaid in the petrified wood of Noah's Ark, and they were made of strong, corrosion-resistant alloys of iron, aluminum, and titanium. This shows that very advanced smelting techniques were known to man as early as 4,000 years ago. The same advanced smelting techniques were found in the excavated artifacts of Song Sheng Dui, such as the gold mask fragment discovered in March 2021 which was processed at over 1,000 degrees Celsius. The manufacture of bronze trees was also done with great skill. The Song Sheng Dui artifacts are much more advanced than what modern archaeology credits ancient humanity with. China, an ancient country with a civilization of more than 5,000 years, has accidentally uncovered baffling secrets long buried underground. The archaeological excavation of Song Sheng Dui will likely continue to yield more such mysteries. As scientists keep digging, their work will help unlock a more complete understanding of humanity's past. <laughs>